You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. Sir, Donald Trump last night essentially tell his supporters to basically do voter intimidation, go in the polls, keep an eye on people. Uh, that's mm-hmm. kind of illegal. Uh, and so, uh, and so, we, we, you know, we are going to see. And look, Scott alluded to this earlier. We must be prepared for right-wing thugs doing what they do. Also, keep in keep in mind, this is the first election in a very long time. Where Republicans are not under a consent decree mm-hmm. regarding voter intimidation at the polls. You're, you're absolutely correct, and Donald Trump did not allude to those things. Donald Trump made it very clear and explicit what he was telling his supporters. One, he said, uh, when asked about diversity training on the federal level, he said it was reverse racism. It's almost like a uh, racism in reverse situation, is what he said. Mm-hmm. When uh, discussing endorsements, he said, I have all of law enforcement behind me. Do you have any law enforcement uh, endorsements? And Joe Biden uh, uh, didn't answer the question. Donald Trump said he's not accepting the results of what's going to happen on November November the third, Donald Trump told his supporters and, um, to go to the polls and uh, and walk around and make sure nothing's going on. Uh, he specifically told the Proud Boys and other white supremacist organizations stand down and stand by. I, uh, he said, "I have plenty of time after the election to do what I need to get done." I'm discussing mm. the Supreme Court justice and said that he's going to be sending this election to the Supreme Court. So I don't think that the, any of that is him alluding to anything. Uh, he wasn't keeping it a secret. He wasn't doing a hidden ball trick. Um, truth is, Joe Biden is going to need to win this election by 10 to 15 million votes uh, in order for us to have any chance of, of there not being a strong contestation of the election and perhaps violence. And the president did nothing to pour water on that last night because he made it very clear to his supporters he has law enforcement on his side. He ha- he's been stacking the courts. He's going to have 300 judges on the bench. He's going to have six judges on the Supreme Court on his side. Uh, that he believes that his blue state uh, people, as he said, need to be doing something something to stop the Antifas and to stop the radical left. I think the radical left is everybody who's not a MAGA voter. So he made it very clear what he's expecting. I think we have 30 days to prepare for that and find out what we're going to do. But, but Roland, uh, this is why the Senate yeah. is so very important, if I may. Um, because while the presidential election, we know we're going to fight after November 3rd. If we can flip those three or four seats, right? If we can flip Arizona flip Colorado, flip Maine. We may or may not hold on to Alabama, but let's say we lose Alabama, right? We can, if we can flip Iowa, for example, where where Dems are playing well in states where Trump won, we certainly have to turn on Michigan and Wisconsin and Pennsylvania and get those back. I think we will. You'll then have a democratically controlled Senate, maybe even get uh, Kentucky, who knows? You'll have a democratically controlled Senate you hold your seats on the on the uh, Democratic side on the House, and even if he fights, once those houses are impaneled, you've got another shot at his bad behavior by either impeaching him or putting tremendous political pressure on the Republicans to remove them themselves or to take that long walk to the White House to tell him that the gig is up. And so I've got hope, but we've got to vote down ballot and we've got to vote in these Senate races. Oh, man. Are you kidding me, Scott? You think that the Republicans are going to take some Barry Goldwater walk to the White House with this guy after what we've seen? If we control the Senate and the House, that's a possibility. No, that's not happening. I I don't invite your indignation. I I raise it as a possibility. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. One second. Lauren, talk. Scott, then respond. Go. (laughs) Yeah, so it's more likely that the military would go to the White House and take him out on Jan 20 than it is <laughs> any of these, these Republicans that we've seen over the last four years. I mean, that's just not happening. And, and quite you know frankly, I don't, you know, I don't. well, we're lucky Scott, on Scott, the election. Scott, 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 Scott. Scott. No, no, no. I ain't Chris Wallace. I ain't Chris Wallace. <laughs> Lauren finish, <laughs> then Scott. I think we're lucky on the electoral map that the blue states, uh, most of which on the, not the blue states, the states that he's likely to win, that Biden is likely to win, uh, Mm -hmm. Michigan, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, 
maybe he gets lucky in Georgia. Uh, those will be known by, by somewhere Carolina. around midnight. OK, so uh, we're lucky. We're lucky because I actually think we're going to find out fairly early that Biden has got it. Obviously, everybody knows he's going to win California. He'll probably win Arizona. But but so that kind of shuts it down. The other thing we got to count on, too, is the media not being stupid, the media not being stupid and just allowing this president to use them and the bullhorn of the media uh, and that audience of millions for him to just get out there and say any crazy thing that is completely inaccurate. That's the mm -hmm. other thing. The media plays a huge role in this. But the well, idea well, that well, guess what? We did. Well, gonna... yeah, well, sorry, sorry. We, sorry, we can't count on that. Scott, go. <laughs> yeah, I, I still think that if oh. we, if we, the perception and the pressure, because the Republicans will not, uh, will see the writing on the wall. This is a possibility, not a probability. But if we control the Senate, if we control the House, and and the president is lost badly to Biden, and he wants to fight in some desperate measure, I do think that frees up more Republicans wherever they are, either on the Senate in lame duck or on the uh, House side, uh, to have a, a realistic conversation with themselves. They don't owe anything to Trump now and perhaps have that conversation with Trump. The Dems should use them, if there are any out there, as their allies in order to avoid a constitutional crisis or taking the whole presidential election to the White House. Everything ought to be on the table. All right, folks, that's that my unfiltered video in just one moment. All right, folks, folks at Seek.com, of course, uh, they are uh, a black-owned company founded by Mary Spiel. They have a couple of great products uh, that you can actually get. This is their VR headset. Uh, this headset, folks, uh, allows for you to actually take your cell phone, pop it right into here, close it up, and then you can actually watch the VR content, the virtual reality content on Seek.com right there uh, through your phone. Actually, it's pretty cool. You can also look at 360-degree video uh, from other websites as well, and it puts you literally right there uh, where the video was shot. And so uh, they have this particular headset right here. They also have their 360-degree 4D headphones. And so these headphones right here, which are Bluetooth, also, they have the headset, which you use for when you, uh, if you're for all you gamers out there, uh, and then of course uh, it has this uh, amazing sound, really, uh, which actually covers around. Typically, you know, you just have the headphones just right here, but this actually has a sound that goes all around your head. I love these headphones. Love listening to music with them uh, and watching videos as well. And so, all you got to do, folks. Uh, is go to seek.com, C-E-E-K.com. Use the promo code RMVIP2020. That's RMVIP2020 uh, to actually try these out. And so that's what we want you to do. All right, folks. Uh, so again, go to seek.com.